Peace and blessings, everyone. Hello and welcome to today's show. This is Coach Ed's Amazing World of Sports, and I'm your host, Coach Ed. I want to thank you guys again for tuning in. Um, before we begin, if you wouldn't mind doing me a favor, like, subscribe, and share on all your social media platforms. This will help this channel grow, and together we can make this become one of the best sports talk shows that is out there. Now, today's show uh, will be focusing on the Giants and the new coaching staff, specifically offensively, with Coach Brian Dable and Mike Kafka. Dable, the head coach, and Kafka, the new offensive coordinator. Now, both are new to the position, so there's going to be some challenges associated with um, learning and doing the positions. You know, Dable has been an experienced play caller. Kafka has been is new to this. Now, he has he's coming over from the Kansas City Chiefs, and he's been under the guidance of Andy Reid. Uh, he also helped uh, Coach Reed as his passing game coordinator, as well as his quarterback coach. So he's experienced at helping to develop and mentor uh, quarterbacks and also be involved in the passing game. Dable, as I said before, he's experienced as a play caller. But one most important thing that, you know, hasn't been, that I haven't seen talked about is play calling development, you know, building up your plays and so on and so forth, leading up to the upcoming game. Now, a lot of that is contingent upon scouting, looking at film, picking up tendencies from the opposition that goes into developing what type of plays you want to call at certain dis situations, whether you're in the minus territory or in the plus territory, whether you're in the red zone, whether you're in the two minute, four minute offense, whatever it is, you know, coming out from the goal line, um, what type of plays are you going to call in what situations? If you're on one hash or the other, the down and distant, to me, that's one of the most important elements of football is the down and distance. Um, so a lot of that is very important. You know, I've seen where some play callers, you know, you let someone else develop it and the head coaches just take the plays and it's easy from, from that point in time. You know, yes, they may put their input into what they're looking for, but it's usually the OC that develops that. So that's where I think, you know, Coach Catholic comes into play. You know, he's going to be the one tasked uh, with developing the, the, the game plan and then also rolling it out to the offense and also the other offensive coaches. So to me, that is vitally important to, you know, this new um, task between the both of them. You know, now Ta Kafka right now is in practice calling the plays and helping, and he's showing what he's able to do. So that will allow uh, Dable to sit down and evaluate and then make a decision. Now, if it helps him, you know, if Kafka does a good job, it can help Dable uh, decide to let him call the plays so he can worry about the time management, uh, timeouts, um, things of that nature. Even, you know, if a player gets injured, sometimes if you're a play caller and they medical comes up to you, they'll try and talk to you, but you're so focused on the game, you know, it's, yeah, 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 okay, okay. And they may have to go to someone else. Well, now as the head coach, you get that information and it helps you clearly think about what you need to do as the course of the game is going. So, you know, to me, these are some of the key things that, you know, are important with, um, with this new coaching staff and developing everything um, from, you know, the quarterbacks, you know, teaching, mentoring, so on and so forth. So, you know, I, I think this is going to be very interesting. Now, I'd like to hear from you guys, you know, comment whether you agree with me, whether you don't, you know, whatever it is, let me know what you think, you know, so, and I really will really appreciate it. And let's see where we can go. So again, I want to thank you guys for tuning into the show today. Coach Ed's Amazing World of Sports. I look forward to bringing you more information like this, more insight, and let's have some fun with it. So in closing, I want to say peace and blessings. And when it comes to sports, make sure you turn it on and turn it up.